Hello dear students, we saw these questions on recent summative exam. I will help you with the answers. Let's get started. In the first question, you are asked to choose the adjectives with positive meaning. There are two adjectives with positive meaning. They are cute and lucky. For example, when you say cute baby, you mean a lovely baby. When you say that you are lucky, it means that good luck follows you. So both of these adjectives are in positive meaning. However, a noisy child means that a child is not behaving in correct manner. Scary is something we are afraid of. And we usually feel lonely when we are sad or alone. So they have negative meanings. In question two, you have to match the halves. We learn the expressions pass pass, ID card, and key ring. So the answer is 1B, 2C, and 3A. There are some multiple choice questions in your exam. So let's try to choose best answer for these questions. My mom usually wears makeup when she goes out in the evening. So we may confuse here the B and the C variants because we may wear sunglasses too. But the word in the evening shows you that you have to use makeup because in the evening we don't wear sunglasses. In question four, we have to choose the line of adjectives with negative meaning. Now, in first question, we talked about this. So, uh, noisy, upset, and lonely. These three words has negative meanings. But in variant A, the word lucky. In variant B, the word cute. And in variant C, the word cute and pretty has positive meanings. So, we don't choose these two variants. In question five, I wasn't tired last night, so I went to bed really late. The word last night demands us to write the sentence in the past. The only past variant is wasn't in this test. Question six. We do the vacuuming on weekends. We learn some verbs and expressions so we learned that we use the word vacuuming with do question seven my sister is sitting on the sofa right now right now is the time maker of present continuous so it shows us that we have to use present continuous here and the correct present continuous form is given in, on variant c to be plus the verb plus ing. Other three variants are wrong. Question eight. We put our clothes in a chest of drawers. It is one of new expressions that we were given in our book. So chest of drawers is the correct variant. Question nine. There are pictures on the walls in my flat. Now, uh, on the walls we may hang pictures, a poster and a mirror. But why did we choose pictures? Because we started the sentence with there are and it demands us to write a plural noun after it. The only plural noun is pictures here. Question 10, where do you go after school? Now we chose the variant where because who is asking about a person, what is asking about things and to write the variant which uh, we need to have a choice but we don't have two things here. That's why we choose where. Now we have to make up a sentence here. 
uh, there is a small trick as you see there is a question mark so it means that we have to start making a question sentence mm, let's try to make it do your friends go shopping every weekend do your friends go shopping every weekend the best variant is C here Question 12. I like this sofa because it is comfortable. So we agree that we write but to contrast two ideas. We write and for additional information. We don't have an additional information here. And we write or to choose uh, to, between two things. So because is uh, about giving reason. Now, we said that I like this sofa because it is comfortable. The reason is that it is comfortable. Question 13. That little dog is really cute. I want to pick him up. So, uh, when the animals are lovely or cute, we want to pick them up. But uh, we usually run away from scary animals and animals can't be noity and lucky so we choose the variant cute here question 14 he tries to learn some new english words every day now we see adverbs of one of the adverbs of frequencies it is uh, the word every day. Every day shows us that we have to write present simple and in present simple third person, I mean he here, in third person we write s at the end of the verbs. So we change the last letter of the word try. We change the last letter y into i because it is a uh, preceded by a consonant. Question 15. Was the film good? Uh, yes, it was. We asked the question with was and we gave answer with was. So, um, variant A is in present form. That's why we don't choose it. No, it is. No, it was our wrong forms of short answers so the best variant is yes it was question 16 did you see at the party last night so um r you see is a wrong question form did you saw? We said that when we write did, we use the verb in present form. We use its first form, we mean. So we have to write did you see. That's why C variant is wrong. Were you see? Were, was and were are usually asked about fact sentences, but this is not a fact sentence. That's why we choose did you see. Question 17. I went to their flat, but they weren't at home. So, um, first of all, I would like to mention that we said that we use but to contrast two ideas. So, we contrast the idea of their being at home and not being. Um, that's why we don't write were. After what, we usually write negative. And wasn't wasn't are wrong because after the pronoun they, we can't use singular form of the verb to be in the past. Question 18. I didn't buy a present yesterday. So it is the negative form of the sentence. I bought a present yesterday. I don't bought is a wrong form about past simple 
In C variant, we see I didn't bought. We, we said that we changed the verb into its present form. And we have to write I didn't buy. But they didn't change the verb bought here. I not bought. We said that we need an auxiliary before the verb, before the particle, excuse me, uh, not. So we need the auxiliary verb did before the particle not. Question 19. My grandfather was born in Canada. So we use was because grandfather is a singular noun and we are talking about an old person. So we use it in past form. We can't use word here because grandfather is a singular noun. Is uh, can be used in present form. But uh, as we mentioned, we are talking about an old person. So we have to speak about his childhood. And it means we are talking about past time. And B can't be used in the sentence in this form. Question 20. We again have to make, a, make up a sentence. Let's try to find the best sentence. So it's not an interrogative sentence. So we may start the sentence with the subject. Now, we say that those students aren't listening to the teacher. Those students aren't listening to the teacher. So D variant is correct here. Here we have a reading text. So this text is about Tim Thickstone. And we said that he lives in an unusual home in UK. So in the text, we have different information about his house, his life, his hobbies or friends. But the main idea of the text is about an unusual house. So this house was underground and it was uh, not the ones that we live in. Uh, we had information about his daily life, his uh, Jenny's hobby and Tim's friends, but these are not the main idea of the text. Question 22, which is not mentioned in the text. Uh, the house has a garden. So uh, we saw information about um, the heat system of the house. So he said that the house is heated by a solar energy and he said his hobby is cooking, he usually cooks. And he said that he and his lo wife love their house. But there is no information about the garden of the house. So we choose variant day here. 23, these are the situational questions. So you had to write the answer yourself. Why is the house dark? So we said that it is underground and it has only three small windows. Uh, that's why the uh, house is usually dark. Uh, it is the um, shortcoming about this house. 24. What do they use to heat water? He said that we use solar energy. So the only heating uh, system, we may say, is solar energy in this house. That's why we write solar energy. And 25, find the synonym of the word excellent from paragraph 4. We said that the word is perfect. Now we may go back to paragraph 4 and see here. There is the word excellent, the synonym of the word excellent. Of course, not everything is excellent, we may say. And we may replace it with the word perfect. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Good luck in your exam. Goodbye.